Welcome. In front of me is a Google Pixel 7 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, in a second you should see that the, the phone I have right here is locked and to finish up the setup I would typically need to confirm the PIN, pattern, password or Google account. But assuming I don't know either of those, I'm going to show you how we can just bypass this. So in my case, as you can see, it's pattern. I believe you can use, uh, because I'm gonna mention this right now or explain this in a, a little bit of a deeper way. So for me, I do have a pattern and that is also what I'm gonna be using as a method of unlocking the device. Now, I'm mentioning this uh, because later on, once I set up the pattern, I'll use it to unlock the device in a way. So right now I'm going to show you the pattern that I'm going to use for bypassing, which I will set up later on. And I'm going to show it right now because I want you to see that the pattern that I'm going to utilize later on right now does not work. So I'm going to use this pattern. And as you can see, it tells me wrong pattern. You can try it again. There we go. Nothing. Uh, I know the correct pattern here to unlock the device actually, but I'm showing you the wrong one that it's going to become a right one in a way later on. So anyway, obviously locked, let's go. So starting straight off, you're gonna, if you're at the very first page, so right here, just get started, skip, and then you will be taken to this page right over here. Connect to some kind of network. As you can see, I have already done so right over here. Once you connect to your network, if it takes you to the next page, just back out. Just press the back button once. If you are still on this page, just from here, select add a network and the SSID, start spamming buttons. Just type, press a couple letters, it doesn't matter which ones. You're gonna select the text in here and to choose copy. This will give you the option to share it. So click on share, swipe up and choose Gmail. Skip and then add an email address. So you will see that we have a bunch of different options that we can add right here. We have things like Google, uh, Outlook, Hotmail Live, Yahoo, and so on. Uh, right over the bat, I'm gonna tell you Google will not work and I'm gonna demonstrate this. So if you try to use it, it tells you to draw the pattern to unlock it so you can log in. So that's a no-go. So what you can use is any of the below ones. Uh, I know that Yahoo works for basically without any kind of problem. And also Outlook Hotmail Live also works if you have a Microsoft account, even if it uses Google uh, email as a way to log into it. And I'm gonna actually demonstrate it. So okay, I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna use a Gmail account to log into it. Keep in mind, this is using a Gmail account, but it's not logging into actually Google, unlike the first option. So that's why it's gonna work. All right, I need to add, add the gmail.com. I'm gonna enter my code, Never mind. Let's just log in on my computer. Hopefully I don't need to go look for a phone. Never mind, I actually do. So I'll be right back. I need to grab a different phone to verify my login.
Okay. So on my Google account that I logged in with, I got a, a code that I need to input right here to sign in to my Microsoft account. So I'm right now type it in, it's 50, 51, 517. Yes, sign in. It doesn't really matter what I'm gonna choose right here. Now, if you're using Yahoo, uh, it will take you straight to email. For me, uh, I need to go through like an initial setup. But from there, you can then, as you can see, login. And you wanna select, take me to uh, mail, and then tap on the three dots, help and feedback. In this, uh, in search uh, help, you wanna type in M-O-R. It's gonna come up with a suggested write in Morse code. Click on it, click on the video once. This will load it up from YouTube and give you the actual name right at the top. You're gonna tap on that name. I will pause this because the video is not important. Scroll or swipe it down, get rid of it. And here you wanna select your YouTube account icon, go to settings, about, and then Google privacy policy which opens up our web browser. From here, select accept and continue and no thanks. No thanks. On the search bar, I'm gonna click on it and navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. I'm gonna write it down myself and if you need a moment to type it in yourself once you see it, do pause the video. So there we go. Now would be the time to pause. Select consent and scroll down to, there we go, to the last option, which is uh, set or screen lock, set many. And this will give us a couple options. Now I'm gonna be using pattern again. Uh, in the guide, in the written guide, it said it's written to actually use pattern. I'm not exactly sure if this matters in any kind of way. You might be able to get away with a pin or password if you want to, but I'm gonna follow the guide as it's written. So I'm gonna be selecting pattern. And in here, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna be using this pattern, which didn't work before. So I'm just gonna be drawing it several times. You'll see in a second what I mean. What I mean, there we go. Confirm. As you can see, this brings us back here. So again, I'm gonna select pattern, draw it once more, next, once more, to confirm it. It brings up a message that the little set uh, screen lock option has crashed. So I'm just gonna click right here. It will give me this black screen. So go back, open up the app once more, and again, set the same screen lock. And again. And again, we're basically repeating this till the phone actually sets it up. There we go. So it did set it up right now. So from here, I'm gonna select a uh, yes, I'm in and I got it. And now we will back out to the beginning of the setup. So just start spamming the back button. There we go. And now we can go through the setup of our phone. Now at this moment, I would recommend just selecting anything that comes fastest to you. So obviously don't copy up some data at the moment. Uh, once you get the verification screen, I'm gonna draw the pattern that I set up. And there we go. And skip it, I'll need to input, input it once more. You'll see it in a second. There we go, so once more, it's the same one. As you recall, when I tried this pattern before, it didn't work. Now it does. 
select do it later no thanks I'm deselecting everything that I can or kind of like getting rid of it just because at the moment we would still need to perform a factory reset of the device so showing you this right now let's open up our settings navigate all the way down to system reset options erase all data erase all data and confirm your screen lock and press on that button once more this will reset your device it will bring you back to the setup but at that point you can be sure that the device is fully unlocked so this is the last step that i would say that it's kind of required this will ensure that your phone is fully unlocked and then you can do whatever you want with it now i'm not going to show it on the video just because factory reset shows you nothing really and then you're back in the setup screen at which point you can set up your phone however you actually want so with that being said if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching